Hi everyone, this is Evgeny and I welcome you back in the next video about line graph and run series. Today we're gonna talk, we're gonna continue talking about uh, supervised architecture and uh, I will show you how it can be constructed under the hood. So join me and let's take a look at that together. But before we dive in, I wanted to mention that this video is highly supervised by angry cats. If you are interested, what are those, then check the match below. And we continue. All right, today we're going to check how to construct your own supervisor from the scratch, like uh, using line graph primitives and not this high-level API. But before we do this, let's create the normal supervisor uh, with high-level API and just so we have the uh, communication channel and we can check at the end uh, how it looks like and compare the differences between those. Uh, let me compile the preliminary stuff first, like tooling, we are going to reuse in both cases. Then we do have research agent, and for those who are new here, I'm not gonna to repeat everything. We have a lot of uh, videos in this series that were created in the past before. Please check those if you're interested in the details. But we have research agent, and this is react agent. We do have a portfolio agent as well and they reuse some tooling at the same time, right? And using high-level API, we define a system message, we have this create supervisor, a high-level API, and we compile it, and this is what we have here. All right, and we're gonna run a test just to have something to compare with later, and a very simple request. I want to invest 1,000 into an AI promising company in the AI sector, and I'm asking to do the research and to perform the investment, like put on a trade for me. All right, we are there, and uh, this time when we are talking about most promising company in AI sector from AI perspective, it's usually NVIDIA, so let's take a look if this is really NVIDIA. I have no idea yet. Uh, supervisor transfer to research, uh, research agent, then research, do some uh, web searches, like Promising AI Companies 2025, it has back NVIDIA, wiki search, and then the final word from research agent was NVIDIA Corporation is the one that's um, recommended to invest into. Back to supervisor, supervisor transfer to portfolio, because now we know that we want to spend 1000 on NVIDIA, and was it look up stock symbol for NVIDIA, and fetch some stock data for NVIDIA as well, and then put in a play, uh, <laughs> buy order on NVIDIA for five stock shares. And we are there, and finally we're making an order in our uh, portfolio, in our ledger, and the final word from the supervisor. So this is pretty standard these days, you saw it several times already in this series, and now we're gonna repeat this experience, but creating our uh, supervisor on hands, by, by hands, like using line graph primitives. And if you think about the general task, then there are several significant points you have to fulfill. The first one, we need to define the communication channel. Like uh, we have a supervisor, we have agents, and they need to communicate somewhere. And from the previous videos, you know already that uh, the tool name is handoffs. So the way how different agents can communicate in land graph using handoffs. And handoffs work normally as a tool. So we have to create specific tools and provide them to agents to allow them to communicate to something else. I'm going to reuse the same function from previous lessons. So we have this create handoff tool. And this one, it takes the agent name, it takes some description, and finally it creates the handoff tool which we can reuse. And there, since it's a tool call, we are marking it with a tool here. We need to create a tool message as a response to the tool call. And the important thing here, okay, we are providing some content, we are providing the name, and then we have to put the same tool call ID. So there is a pair of tool call and tool call response. And finally, we are returning as a command where we are saying that, okay, the command is go to specific agent name, and this is on a scope of all the graphs and also we are updating the message thread. So what we are doing here, we are providing all the messages previously created 
in a thread plus the tool message we just created. So in this case, our A agent, when it has the control, would know the uh, previous context, all the previously created messages and can operate. Like uh, maybe this is not the ideal. We, we had a lesson where we provided some specific task, but now we are trying to recreate this uh, supervisor architecture from out of the box, right? And we're returning back the tool itself. And having that, we need to define two handoffs tool. So our supervisor should have methods to assign to portfolio agent. And for that, we are creating handoff tool for portfolio and the same to research agent. And having that, we covered all the communications between those. And now we need to create supervisor agent itself. And supervisor is also react agent. So we're creating this create re uh, react agent it's still high level, but it's not supervisor, it's single agent. And here, uh, the important points, we are putting the name to supervisor. We are providing two handoff methods, which allows the supervisor to pass the control to other agents. And the rest is the same. We have two normal tools like get time, uh, current timestamp, get order history if needed. We define in the model, we define in the super, uh, supervisor system message, etc. And if I compile it, it looks the same. It's not a supervisor, it's a React agent which knows, which has some tools, and some of those can be about passing the control to other agents. And now we have three agents. We need to bind them into the structure, and for that we are just creating the normal land graph graph, which we saw already, I think it's in the introduction section as well. So what we are doing here, we are defining a new state graph based on message state, which contains of messages, which has messages as a property. We add in nodes, supervisor, research, and portfolio, so three agents. We, we are defining that from supervisor, possible destination could be research, portfolio, or it can go to the end. Then we are adding some ages, so from start to supervisor, then uh, from research it should go back to supervisor and from portfolio it also should go back to supervisor we are not providing ages from supervisor to those two agents because this is happening via tooling via handoffs so it's not part of this graph and this one destinations we are putting here only for showing for better representation of our graph and the rest is the same we are defining the check pointer in memory we are compiling the graph and this is our supervisor so if we compile it Take a look at that. It's exactly the same as we saw before, but this time we created it from the scratch on our own. So if you want to customize it, for example, this is the way how you should proceed, right? And the same testing, but it's the same view, right? We can run the same testing as well and also check that NVIDIA was the promising company we invested into. And we are there, let me quickly scroll through it so user request supervisor timestamp the same like for me it looks exactly the same as previously we pass into the research agent and this time uh, this tool is something we created handoff tool then we have a research and the same web and video back surprise surprise right the same recommendation then back to uh, supervisor transfer to portfolio and it's interesting, look at that, that this time we don't have this, uh, the control passing back from agent to supervisor. It's interesting, this is a difference here, right? And supervisor makes another call to portfolio and the same, rest is exactly the same, right? With investing and returning back and final word from supervisor. All right, so the output was almost the same as previously created for supervisor created with high level API. And just to recap, uh, three components you have to implement yourself. It's handoffs. It was there. You define your uh, specific custom tool. You create React agent. You can use high level API create agent as well as uh, also primitives. In the first video in this series, we, we created React agent using primitives. You can use that as well. And the final one, you have to create the overall graph, which contains all three agents and define the edges and destinations. And here you are. All right, this is the end of the video. And I hope that you found something interesting and you've learned something new about line graph. And it was me, Evgeny. It was a pleasure to see you here. I really appreciate having you till the end of this video. And I will see you next time in the next video. Thank you. Take care.
Bye-bye.